everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you how to fix the animated dummy texture issue that came up after the BeamNG update 0.31. It's a common problem, but by the end of the video, your dummies will look perfect again. But before we continue, I'd like to mention that I've created multiple special tutorials covering how to detach any parts from any vehicle and showcasing useful tools that helps you have more control and creativity in BeamNG Drive. You can also find in-depth tutorials covering how to create complex crash scenarios or for tools like CAMFAT Editor and Road Architect on the channel and on the Patreon. And many more tutorials are on the way. You can find the links to each one in the description. So if you're interested in learning basic to advanced tutorials, tips and tricks and techniques, please like and subscribe and join our Discord and Patreon which are linked in the description. First, you'll need to download the dummy model. You will find the download links for everything you need in the description. Once you've gotten the file, head over to maximo.com and after logging in, upload your FPX file and wait for it to process. Next, you will need to place the autorigger nodes. Just follow the positions shown on the screen. After that, pick any animation from the list on the left side and once you click on one, it will be applied to your dummy model and when you're happy with it click on download character and don't change any settings just make sure to download it as an fpx file you can install blender either through steam or directly from their official website for older versions of blender that are below 4.0 use this plugin and for the newer versions please use the plugin from the github you can find the links for both of them in the description to install the plugin go to edit preferences add-ons and from the top right corner, select install from disk. Here, select your zip file and hit install. Now the plugin is installed. To open the plugin, press the slider button at the top right corner of the viewport. That's the toggle for the slide panel. Let's delete everything in the default scene and import the animated FX file, which we downloaded from mixamo.com. As you can see, I've already downloaded the necessary animations to save some time. Let's start by importing one. To preview the textures, Press the button in the top right corner of the viewport. Now select only the pivot on top of the dummy's head. Then click on create control rig in the plugin window. With your animation selected, check how many keyframes are on the timeline. Then adjust the timeline end. Here we had 242 keyframes. So we set the end of the timeline to 242. Next, select the dummy. Go to the materials tab and rename the material to something unique. Then head over to the UV editing tab and rename the texture file as well. Now with your animation selected, go to file, export and export it as a DAE file. I like to make a new folder for each animation to keep things organized. It's totally up to you, but I recommend it. To make the animations accessible from any map on the game, go to the repository folder, create a folder named art and paste your exported animation inside it. On BeamNG, load into your map and press F11 to open the world editor. Then go to Window and open Asset Browser. If you already had BeamNG open before adding your files, make sure to refresh the directory in the Asset Browser to see the newly added files. Now just drag and drop the DAE animation file into your scene and as you can see, the animation now works perfectly without any texture issue. Let's quickly go through it one more time, just in case you missed something in the first time around. After importing your FPX file, select the pivot on top of the head and create a control rig using the plugin. Next, select the dummy, go to the materials tab and rename the material to something unique. Then go to UV editing tab and rename the texture file as well. And also don't forget that we need to cap the animation timeline so that it loops perfectly. And with your animation selected, go to file, export and export it as a DAE file. And all you have to do now is to just copy the animation file into your art folder. Here, I've finished fixing all the animations, and there are 30 animations in total. If you want to use them, I've put together two free packs. One is available on my Discord server, and the other one is available on my Patreon page. And yes, both are completely free to download. All you need to do is to check the links down in the description. And with that, we've reached the end of this tutorial. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, and if it was, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you would like to learn next. Also, feel free to join our Discord and Patreon community, which both are linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy crashing!